the figure shows part of a transverse progressive wave which is traveling to the right along a string. The horizontal dotted line, so what we have over here, shows the position of the string when there is no wave present, so basically this is the equilibrium position. In which direction is the string at point P moving at the instant shown? Okay, so P has to remain in the same vertical line. P moves up and down. This is a transverse wave. As the wave moves towards the right, this is the direction of wave propagation. Energy gets transferred in that direction as well. For a transverse wave, the particles along that wave will oscillate perpendicularly to the direction of energy transfer or wave propagation. And P must also stay along this wave shape. So as this wave shape moves towards the right, P will follow along with it. But then the common mistake here is to think that P will move upwards because you see a crest after point P. So therefore, a lot of students think that P will therefore move upwards, but it actually moves downwards. How I like to visualize this, imagine this is like a rigid metal wire that's been bent in this shape and it's moving towards the right. And point P is like a little ring or bead that's on this metal wire. As the metal wire moves towards the right, so as this trough moves towards the right, this bead here that's stuck along that metal wire will move down as this trough goes just beneath that point. If that still doesn't make sense, I've got some diagrams drawn here, which will hopefully make it clearer. We see the same thing. We have a progressive wave that's moving towards the right this is particle P. The purple dashed line represents the equilibrium position. The orange line represents a vertical line which P must stay along. Remember that P goes up and down, so P must stay along this orange line. The wave is gradually moving towards the right. So in each of these successive images, the wave is moving gradually towards the right. If you look at this crest over here, shifts slightly to the right each time. P must stay along this wave shape. Remember that it's like that bead that's along this metal wire. As the metal wire, the wave, moves towards the right, then P will stick along with it. It will also stay on this orange line here. And we see that as this trough here moves towards the right, then P will drop down to meter. And if that still doesn't make sense, have a look at this animation here. Hopefully it'll become clearer. So if we look at this particle here, in about three quarters of a cycle, it's gonna be in the same position that it's in in the question. So it'll be over here where we have a crest to the right and we have a trough towards the left. And notice when it's in this position, it's gonna move downwards. So that will be what well, you see it moving downwards now. In this position right here, it starts to move downwards to stay along that wave shape. It moves in the same vertical line. It just goes up and down, doesn't move left and right.